Okay, here we are. Um, Dash Studio with uh, standard Genesis 3 on the screen. And the first thing I'm going to do is let's export uh, to ZBrush. And there we are. So that's our in ZBrush. Um, I'm not going to do anything to her at all. I'm just going to send her straight back using GoZ. And let's just give it a name, make it easier to find. Call it test uh, underscore ZB. Okay, and there it is there. Now, the second thing I'm going to do from ZBrush is what I normally do in my workflow because I feel that that ZBrush link is very much a one off. And if I make a mistake further down the line, I can't go back. So what I normally do is I export as an object, and I'll call it test object. And that's her on my desktop as the test object. So in Dash Studio, what I should be able to do is if I go to Edit, Figure, and use Morph Loader Pro, I can get that test object. And because it's exported uh, with a single subdivision, subdivision yes on, and build resolution one on, and I accept that, and then she comes. So, right, I now got my base Genesis 3 with the two morphs on it. Now, the area with the problem is the mouth, so let's go to the head. And I'll just move her a bit because I mean we're interested in the mouth. So if I come up to posing, I've already got the mouse selected. So right, let's open her up. Let's pop the lips. And let's see what top and how no. Top up down isn't it there? Is that right? Top up down, that's that one. With bottom up down, that's that one. And we want to open our mouth as well. Not the smiley open, we want the standard open. So let's open it and let's open it even wider. And let's zoom in in the mouth. So there we are, a nice big mouth. Okay, so just now it's a standard mouth with none of those moths. So let's come back up to the female and back down to the parameters, and there are the two moths. Okay, so firstly, there's the Z brush morph which was brought straight back in, so I'll apply that. Now, what you can see is there is a little change in the tongue and in, at the back of the mouth, but they're minor. There's no changes to the teeth. Now, why there's any change at all, I don't know, but it's very, very minor. However, with the Morph Loader, let's put that to zero. With the Morph lo Loader install, remember this is the same model, just exported, no morphing at all done in ZBrush. But brought in using Morph Loader Pro. Watch what happens to the teeth. Look here. Look at the distortion around the gums, the bending of the teeth, everything like that. This is happening with no morphs attached at all. This is a basic um, Genesis 3 object brought in over the top. And you know, n with the straight Z brush export, there's no distortion. But with the Morph Loader Pro, there's distortion of the teeth. Okay. Now, what makes this even worse is if, you know, any additional morphs to the mouth are put on, but. There's definitely a problem with Morph Loader Pro importing teeth 